Hello everyone. So in the start to finish series, you'll remember here that on the 25th, a little over a week, uh, I guess a little over a week ago or so now, um, I put on this bearish butterfly. So this is a skewed butterfly that was skewed to the downside. At the time, on the 25th, the SPY was up here uh, trading right around 475. And at the time, I had said that um, that the market feels like it's hitting a resistance area because the prior resistance in our markets was right around that 475, 480. Those were all-time highs. The year was ending, so there was a number of things that led me to believe that the market might chop sideways for a few days or maybe even pull back a little bit. So based on that, my goal was to put on a butterfly, and, and I'll make this at the end of this video. The video that'll pop up will be the entry to this trade so that you can see that. So anyhow, um, it did play out somewhat as expected. If we take a look at our markets, we had this centered uh, right around the 477, 478 range so that it could, the market could continue to run up you know, even up here to this 480 area and the trade would still be okay. Well, the market has pulled back a fair amount and we're right now at about a $45 profit somewhere in that general range. So at this point, a person could do a couple of things on this trade. Um, one, decent return. That's 10% in about a week, a little over a week. So uh, it could be a logical time to potentially close this trade. Um, if you thought the market might rebound from here, uh, you could go ahead, hang on to this trade and look to close it a little bit later. I mean, if the market were to rebound all the way back up here to 476, this could turn into a much more profitable trade even than it is now. But one of the things that you need to look at, if we look at this solid line right here, that's our current T0 line. If we look at the dashed line, that's our T0 line halfway to expiration. So from where we are now, halfway to expiration. And we are still, if we look at our theta decay here, uh, we're still positive theta. So right now, this is still working in our favor to the tune of about two bucks a day. So this is where a trader needs to make a decision. Do I close out this trade with a 10% profit, move on? I have no risk to the downside. The market could tank, and I'm still going to end up with about a $10 profit in this trade. My upside risk is quite a ways away. So in reality, what I'm probably making a decision on here as a trader is, do I want to lock in my $40 in gain or $45 in gain, close out the trade, um, or, you know, take a risk of the market continuing to tank and me ending up with about $10 in profit. So that's about a $35 swing. So at this point, I am going to call this trade closed. 10% profit in a couple weeks, nothing to sneeze at. Uh, if I had multiples of this open, now in this particular case, I just opened it as a single butterfly. If I had multiples of this open, my standard move is close a portion of my position. Maybe I close a third, maybe I close half, um, but I go ahead and lock in some of those higher level gains, and then I can let the last few maybe play out to see if we might move back up in the market. But since I only have one of these on at this point, I am going to go ahead and consider this trade closed for about a 10% profit. So that's uh, wrapping up this start to finish trade uh, spy downside broken wing butterfly. Take care, everyone.